Hi, welcome back to my channel, Roselle Rave. And ngayon, i-discuss natin yung 10 tips kung paano kumita ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Tip number one, magbenta online. Lahat tayo nasa online selling na, no? And karamihan, this is not really something new, no? May kita mo lahat ng friends mo, kung anumang profession nila, they're now into online selling. So instead of you just browsing through your Facebook or uh, killing your time para mag-social media, might as well make it work. Ibig sabihin, pwede tayo magbenta. Benta ng pwedeng damit, gamit, halaman kung ikaw'y mahilig sa mga plants, or any gadget na you can think of, whatever you have in mind. Ngayon, ang right time, so pwede na tayo magbenta online. Tip number two, mag-work online. Maswerte ka kung ikaw ay may trabaho pa sa panahon ngayon kasi napakarami ng walang trabaho. Um, kung ikaw ay may trabaho, pagbutihan mo na yan, galingan mo na yan, at gandahan mo ang iyong service at gandahan mo ang iyong performance kasi this is your best time to shine. No, nagkakatanggalan ng trabaho anywhere, lahat ng malalaki, maliliit na negosyo are really, you know, in crisis right now. Pero if you have the present job right now, Love it. Kailangan, kailangan mo yan. But if, for example, naman wala kang trabaho, natanggal ka, or um, hindi na, nagsara na ang iyong uh, company, at wala ka na ngayong pagkakakitaan na regular income, then this is your time to also find work from home. Okay? Mga online work, pwedeng uh, virtual assistance work, may mga work na pwede kang mag-tutorial, uh, pwede kang mag magkaroon ng uh, other opportunities, basta Isa search mo ito sa online kung ano yung mga pwede mong gawin na you can work from home and at the same time earn it. So this is working online. Tip number three, offer services. Magaling ka bang kumanta, sumayaw, magluto? Ano yung mga pwede mong uh, i-share sa public na pwede mong pagkakakitaan ng extra? Like, are you a trainer? Or uh, are you good in explaining things? This is your time to offer that service. And pwede mo itong pagkakitaan ng from anywhere between 500 pesos to 500,000, oh, 500 pesos to 5,000 pesos per day. Depende yan kung anong service na kaya mong i-offer. Again, it has to be somehow in consideration na tayo ay naka-work from home. Kailangan yung mga service na may isip mo ay kaya mong ma-deliver even online kung tayo ay, again, may restriction sa pag uh, travel o pagpunta mismo sa kliyente. As much as possible, convert whatever offer or services that you can think of online. Tip number four, kumita sa social media. Again, huwag niyo hayaan na ang social media ay nandyan lang at uh, uubusin yung oras natin, malalaman natin yung mga buhay-buhay ng mga ibang tao. But if you're really thinking of earning, use this platform para ikaw ay kumita. For example, YouTube. Create a YouTube video, create your own channel, and pagkakitaan mo ito. Maybe through AdSense, through affiliate marketing, or if you're selling something, then do on online using this platform. Pagkakitaan mo ang social media like Facebook if you're promoting something, YouTube if you want to be more popular or maging influential, or other uh, social media platform na at the end of the day will generate you extra income for your daily needs or for your own personal satisfaction or personal uh, financial requirement. Tip number five, ito na yung pagkakataon natin na mag-declutter ng bahay, ng mga gamit natin, declutter and sell. Okay, how do you do that? Una, isa-isahin nyo yung mga rooms sa bahay ninyo, isa-isahin mo yung gamit mo and check kung ano ba yung mga hindi mo na kailangan. So, nakakapaglinis ka na maibibenta mo pa yung mga bagay na hindi mo na gagamitin for the next six months or one year or probably not even uh, for several years to come. So, you might as well sell it. Ito, maganda tong tip number six. Start your own business. Okay, sa panahon ng pandemya, mag-umpisa ka ng negosyo. Bakit? Paano? Well, tama, no? You, you heard it right. You can start your own business today. And in fact, immediately, Kahit naman anong, whether with pandemia or walang pandemia, you can start your own business. And malaki ang, malaking bagay na nakaka-boost ito ng moral ng bawat 
um, bawat individual na mag-uumpisa ng business. No? Kasi there is hope. Why not? Anyway, if you have an offering, if you have a service to offer to our clients, so to your to the public, to your friends, then why not put it as a small business? Hindi mo kailangan mag-invest ng napakalaking amount, hindi mo kailangan mag-invest ng magandang office, no. You can start online, you can you can apply to DTI na immediately makukuha mo rin. Minsan, same day registration, you get your DTI permit, then plan, iplano mo, and um, sometimes you might earn, pwede kang kumita, pwede namang hindi, Pero what is important is that you keep going, you keep moving, and ito yung magbibigay sa'yo ng parang, wow, in a lifetime, nakapagtayo ako ng negosyo. Start it now. Tip number seven. Ito naman ay para dun sa mahihilig magsulat ng article, libro, start your ebook now. Diba, matagal yun ang pangarap, siguro na, so ano, makapagsunat din ako ng libro in the future, sobra lang na hectic ang schedule ko, may trabaho and all, and I'm so busy. Now, ngayon na pandemya, this is a time for you to write your own book or your own e-books, no? And immediately, kapag ikaw ay nakapagsunat ng libro, and marami yan, pwede kang sumulat ng one, up to ten, twenty books, no? Um, and, you can, you can, you know, you'll find joy in writing and at the same time, ito ay pwedeng potential income for you. So after mong magsulat ng libro, publish it in Kindle, on Amazon, and there you have it. You have a product to sell. So write your own ebooks. Tip number eight, resell products or be an affiliate marketer. Ano ibig sabihin ito? Sabihin, kung meron kang Hinahanga ang produkto or gustong produkto. For example, training, a training center na gusto mong i-resell yung kanilang mga uh, training services, then go ahead. If there's, for example, a, a, a camera shop na gusto mong i-resell yung kanilang cameras by just becoming an affiliate marketer, go ahead. Resell products, resell services. In this way, wala kang kapital na uh, gagamitin, kundi yung iyong influence lang or yung iyong mga connections lang sa iyong mga friends. At the same time, hindi ka rin problema ng mga paperwork, uh, contracts, documentation, or mga resibo, kasi you are just reselling their products. And in the process, kung may bumili, you get 10-20% uh, income or commission from that uh, reselling program. So, start it now. Okay, tip number nine. Kung ikaw ay merong expertise na alam mong talagang, alam mo yung demand na expertise na meron ka, like if you are, for example, an IT guy na, you know, ethical hacking, or or if you are, for example, a gardener na alam mo kung paano uh, talagang uh, mag-cultivate ang lupa or magtanim at ma-maximize ang garden, or ano ba yung expertise na meron ka? Is it fashion design? Is it arts? Something na in demand. Something na alam mong uh, mapapakinabangan ng marami or ng selected few, no? May niche market. So, try and find that niche market. Ngayon, gawin mo, uh, i-offer mo sa kanila yung iyong expertise and who knows, it can be an extra income for you. Last but not the least, tip number 10, be a freelancer. So, kung halimbawa, ikaw ay may trabaho, may gusto ka lang na para extra income, then be a freelancer. Ano na ibig sabihin? You can be a freelance trainer. You can be a freelance professor. You can be a freelance draftsman. So, kung ano man yung para expertise na pwede mong i-share or pwede kang magkaroon ng extra income on the side, probably this is it. Be a freelancer. So, that's it. Those are the, are the 10 tips on how to earn during pandemic. And kung gusto niyo pa ng mga ganitong klaseng tips and techniques and strategies, please like and subscribe now. Thank you.